Hope you had a chance to go over that um, as, uh, as we come back. Um, the parameters that we were given in the try it exercise, number seven on page 388, was you needed a future value, uh, Maggie needed a future value of $8,000 in five years. And she can save at 12% quarterly. Man, that's great, 12%. I don't know where you find that, but I would go with it. And it's asked, what does she have to put away every three months? We don't know what the payment is. So as soon as they, they're asking you what the payment is, we know that it's either a sinking fund or an amortization. And with the sink, and since they gave us the future value, we know that it's a sinking fund. Okay? So we still need to figure out I. So at 12% and at quarterly, it's 12 divided by 4, so it's 3% a quarter or 0 0.03 if you eventually use the formula. But for this case, we just need to know 3% for the table because we're using the table factors. All right, N, it's for five years, and since it's quarterly, that's four times a year, so five times four means there's going to be 20 compounding periods. So we need to look up the column of 3% and the row of 20 compounding periods. Now Groot has graciously held my place for me in the table. We are using the future value tables for an ordinary annuity, all right? Because this is at the end of every period. So 20 is down here, and 3%, it's the one, two, three, four, fifth column in, one, two, three, four, fifth column in. So that's 26.87037 is the factor, all right? So we know from our formula over here, all right, that the payment equals the future value, $8,000, all over uh, the factor we found in the table, 26.87037, all right? So, pull up my calculator. Thank you to my daughter who let me borrow it, all right? because I use either my phone, which I'm recording on, or my computer. Um, so she let me borrow this. So 8,000 divided by 26.87037. And that equals $297.50. All right, the factor after the, the one or the tens place all right, ones, tens, ones at the factor after tens place was a five. All right, so this was a two that rounds up to three. So $297.73 is my payments. So if I make for every quarter, if I put away $297.73 for five years, I will have $8,000. Now I always like to look at what did I pay out of pocket? So the 297. Um, 0.73 times n the total number of payments. I don't know if you can. I should push this up here. All right. Times 20 equals 5,900 954 dollars and 60 cents. So my interest ends up being. Should be 40, that 9 is 5, 9 is, oh, let me push this over so you can see it. All right, so I wanted $8,000 for my future value, and I have, and those payments, 297.73, 20 of them, equals $5,954.60 out of my pocket. So if it's worth $8,000, but I've only put $5,900, uh, that's a little over $2,000. So I'm just doing the math here. That's 40. 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 minus mine is 0. And this should be 7. So $2,045.40 in interest. A lot of interest. That's 25%, basically. Uh, no, more than that. Uh, it's 33%, all right, of my cash out of pocket. So I made basically on the entire amount 33% interest on what I paid out of my pocket to get $8,000. So yeah, I would gladly pay $6,000 for an $8,000 trip. All right, see how that makes sense.
okay? So now um, I'm going to pause and we're going to look at, uh, this was um, a sinking fund. We knew what the future value was. How many payments do we get our future value? What if we know what the present value is? I take a loan. What will my payments be in order to pay that loan off with interest? Okay, so that's what we're going to talk about next. See you soon.